One trillion animals disappear from our planet each year. 80 billion livestock are farmed for food. Two million species face extinction today. 150 million are still taken in poaching and trophy hunting. It's all gain. 150,000 animals perish every minute. These numbers are not valuations of companies. They are an anthology of loss. These are ledgers of lives precipitously vanishing from Earth. These are also reflections of how we have come to view the world of animals through the lens of a mind-numbing commodification. Indeed, we think of the lives lost each year as 360 million tons consumed worldwide. My keynote today is to unlock your conscience. We are not waiting for the sixth extinction. We are already in the sixth extinction. As apex predator, we have reshaped the world according to our own image. But at the cost of our fellow sentient beings and our home planet. And our actions bear a huge price. On last count, humanity has wiped out 60% of the world's wildlife since 1970. Thanks to Alfred Nobel's gunpowder. So much for the Nobel Prize. But humanity can also protect our fellow animals, our common home and hearth, earth, which we share as kin when we say Vasudev Kutumb. The expansive Kutumb cannot be confined to Homo sapiens alone. Now for a personal story. I recently visited an animal rescue and rehab center. Here elephants, big cats, birds, reptiles, and other endangered species have been saved from poachers, traffickers, and circuses globally. Today they are looked after by dedicated conservationists from around the world. From medicine to massages, organic nourishment to surgeries, these animals enjoy the warmth of positive reinforcement. The effort to achieve this transforms humanity. There is genius within us that is sparked when we channel our intrinsic empathy. I would like to personally recognize Anand, infinity personified, for his dedication in creating the star of the forest, Vantara. In his own words, this is an attempt to heal the environment. It is a start at rebuilding our bond with animals. As his father proudly told us the next day, he has turned Charles Darwin's theory of survival of the fittest on its head, making it protection of the weakest. Then there is Ratan Tata's state-of-the-art hospital for small animals. This marks a good and great use of CSR. I urge the many directors across Tata companies to follow suit by putting enhanced CSR into animal welfare, something that Mr. Tata himself would surely approve of. 
These are world-encompassing views that should evoke an all-life, all-planet response from us. After all, what is human progress? Is it only to be captured by the likes of GDP or per capita growth? Are all these parameters real or just an illusion? Most businesses plan their CSR only in adjacencies to get clawbacks for their own enterprise. A focus on all life provides a first mover advantage, a formal game changer in CSR across industry. Who knows? Entertainment media could be evoked to develop Christopher Nolan's next Dark Knight, crusading against animal oppression. Pharma could strive to make medicine accessible to all animals. Construction could create equitable ways to build which safeguard the habitat of animals and birds. The military-industrial complex would report the number of animal casualties, and not just humans. Other species cannot be collateral damage and waved off as stuff happens. The media accent on humans is also an iatrogenic of democracy, because only humans vote. I invite you to reevaluate your business strategies and AOPs. There are real world consequences to losing the kingdom of animals. Without them, human lives will not only be far less magical, but also economically unstable. There is a link between industry and animals. This appears when we look at the macro picture, which doesn't only mean macroeconomics. It means viewing our planet's spread and contextualizing our own lives within this. Many of our guests here are achievers who have blazed paths of great success. Today, several of us are engaged in succession planning, seeking to smoothly hand over our life's work to the next generation. However, we must be aware that we often fall prey to an adversary lingering within the chamber of our own mind. This is speciesism, the illusion that only human lives matter because only humans can create value. Such narcissism is perilous. It shrinks our understanding of the wondrous architecture of life. It also hides the real math which underpins our existence. Did you know nature's ecosystems generate $140 trillion of value each year? This comprises everything animals do, from tiny bees to trophic predators. Industry relies on the conservation of nature. Saving animals is ethical. It's evocative. It's also smart business. Thank you for your attention. From breaking news, detailed analysis, in-depth interviews and explainers, follow the Times of India. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like our videos and hit the bell icon to stay updated with the latest.